Hello, everyone, and I trust you're having a good day. Embarking on this narrative, I extend a fervent invitation to those just joining our fold. To new subscribers and followers, you've seamlessly woven into the intricate fabric of our tribe and extended family. To those returning, a heartfelt expression of gratitude, a nod to your continued presence on this digital canvas. Your temporal investment is truly valued. Should the threads of my discourse resonate with your own life tapestry, why not weave this acknowledgement into the broader YouTube community? A mere tap on the like button serves not just as an individual gesture, but as a communal act fostering the flourishing of our tribe and extended digital kin. Now, let's unravel the layers of today's discourse, a delve into the daily choreography of a narcissist, where you and their perception eternally embody the enigma, the one that slipped through their grasp. Brace yourselves for this plunge into the labyrinthine psyche. In the labyrinth of narcissism, gender neutral in its dance, a singular action unfolds daily, a ritual of self-affirmation in your status as the elusive one that got away. Bear in mind, the narcissistic lens operates in stark contrasts. You're either the epitome of virtue or relegated to the realm of malevolence. Nuance is an alien concept. Gray areas are a mirage. In the devaluation act, the narcissist's calibration falters. A misjudgment of your essence occurs. Positioned in their narrative as a pawn, they foresee a predictable script. From devaluation to the discard, the anticipation is that you would passively succumb to their manipulative orbit. Yet you defied the script, aligning with the counsel echoed in a previous video. Your metaphorical crown might have tilted, but you rectified its alignment. You listened, swiftly navigating the treacherous terrain, confronting the narcissist. Do you grasp the gravity of this departure from the anticipated script? Enduring the inflicted pain, you bore its weight willingly, a peculiar form of resilience observed. A congregation of light workers, listeners resilient against life's tempestuous trials, your endurance exceeding rationale. Suffering, not sought, yet shouldered with an unwarranted grace. In the whirlwind of narcissistic disrespect, you stood resilient. Triangulation tactics were deployed, per my forewarning, a dizzying spectacle as your head spun, oscillating in a balletic frenzy, threatening detachment. But here's the crux. After the vertigo, there's an ascent, a recuperation hinged on your capacity for self-healing. The narcissist, blinded by their own assumptions, misconstrued your robustness. In the devalue and discard, your strength was discounted, resilience misunderstood. As life hurled challenges, you rose, a testament to an indomitable spirit, the narcissist's miscalculations became apparent, their disrespect a testament to their inability to fathom your ability to recover and heal, a narrative twist they failed to predict. Navigating the labyrinth of self-discovery amidst the cacophony of disrespect, triangulation tactics, and familial entanglements is akin to a cosmic odyssey. Even the familial sanctuary, once a haven, morphs into an icy mausoleum during these tumultuous times. A frigid abyss where words hang heavy, conversations suspended in an eerie silence. The mere attempt at connection is met with vacant stares, frozen gestures, and an omnipresent chill, an experience akin to dwelling in morgue. The ordinary greetings, once warm and familiar, are now laden with a peculiar tension. A simple hello triggers apprehension, and inquiries about their well-being are met with hesitation. The tendrils of the narcissist's smear campaign, an intricate web of falsehoods, have woven a narrative that precedes you like a ghost haunting every interaction. The family, unwittingly complicit, dances to the orchestrated symphony of lies, treating you as a pariah. Engaging the narcissist in a quest for understanding proves futile. Your queries are met with incredulous gazes, as if you are an anomaly with a surplus of heads and eyes. The discard stage unfolds like a bomb detonating. The performance is over, and the once secure mask shatters. What emerges is the unfiltered essence of the narcissist, their true nature laid bare. As the curtain falls on the discard phase, a revelation surfaces. It's time for a pivotal shift. You decide to love yourself. As previously advised, the metaphorical crown is reclaimed, positioned firmly atop your head. The innate ability to heal, a dormant power within, is awakened. Your tears, initially sown in sorrow, metamorphose into droplets of joy. You, now seated on your throne, emanate healing. Your words and touch become instruments of restoration, a testament to your resilience. Conversely, the narcissist grapples with the aftermath, ruminating on the escape they didn't foresee. 
Despite entangling themselves with new faces, your specter persists. In the recesses of their thoughts, you linger, a constant reminder of relinquished control and lost access. Each day with 99.9% .9 certainty, they reflect on the one who slipped through their grasp, the one who got away. In the intricate dance between empowerment and liberation, you stand as the unyielding force, the one they couldn't manipulate into submission. Refusing to accept a demotion to a secondary role, you rejected the orchestrated narrative of their bird-brained family mentality. It was no secret the mother and sister, architects of this toxic theater, sought to elevate someone pliable, a willing doormat for their manipulative whims. Yet you chose self-love and self-worth over such a demeaning role. The family, birds of a feather, couldn't tolerate your resilience. I emphasized it before, and I stand by it, cut them off. None among them deserves a front row seat to your greatness, your goodness, and your mercy. Why? Because, inevitably, they serve as conduits of information back to the narcissist, fueling their social media charades and fake profiles. Meanwhile, they're ensnared with a partner far from their ideal, a consequence of their own machinations. While they grapple with mediocrity, you thrive. Your aura exudes success. Your bank account flourishes. Your home exudes opulence and you cruise in a foreign chariot. Passport stamped, you traverse the globe, a living testament to your liberation. The narcissist may feign indifference, but make no mistake, they monitor your every move. Lurking in the shadows, they bear witness because you are the one that got away. And the family? Far from allies, they berate the narcissist incessantly. Reminding them of their folly, they tease and torment, laying bare their complicity in sabotaging the relationship. It's a viper's den where the mother, especially if she has a narcissistic son, views him as a surrogate partner, a twisted alliance. The cycle repeats, a manipulative dance persists, but they reap what they sow. So my counsel remains steadfast. Ignore the new supply, pay no heed to the one on the back burner. Your journey is forward, and their narratives of regret are echoes in the rearview mirror of your success. You've escaped the manipulative clutches, and now, as you revel in the abundance of your own making, remember, you are the one who got away, leaving them in the wake of their self-induced chaos. Listen closely, for I'm about to unveil a truth that resonates in the very core of your being. You are not just any supply. You are the one that got away. Your escape from their manipulative grasp is a testament to your resilience, intelligence, and undeniable worth. They may parade substitutes, but none shall hold a candle to the greatest supply that is you. Remember the fancy restaurants and the grand gestures? That was your narrative, the one they thought they could rewrite. But you, my friend, are grade A, and for such a supply, a narcissist would move mountains. Your presence, a force to be reckoned with, leaves an indelible mark not only on the narcissist's life, but on their entire family's existence. A nest of manipulators may surround them, but why would you ever wish to return to that labyrinth of toxicity? Stay known, stay confident, and ingrain this truth in your heart and mind. Their antics, their daily ruminations, all revolve around you. They underestimated your intelligence, thinking you were the least savvy among them. Yet you made the necessary adjustments, absorbing pain and pressure until you emerged, looking as if you'd been through nothing. Wear your crown, for you are royalty, unyielding, undeterred, and unbroken. The Almighty Creator designed you to shine, to exude an aura that commands respect. So keep shining, keep winning, keep growing. Narcissists think about you every day because you are the one who got away. Do not entertain the thought of returning to a space that cannot respect the reality within you. You are special, loved, and exceptional. Recognize your worth as they do, for you are a beacon of light in a world shadowed by their manipulations. As we approach the weekend, let this truth echo in your soul. You are important, special. Yes, you, queen, you, king. Elevate your thought processes, see the glass as half full, and embrace optimism. Expect the best, but be prepared for the worst, for wisdom lies in balance. Keep shining, keep winning, keep stepping on them. Each stride a testament to your strength. Until the next video, be blessed and highly favored. If you haven't already, like this video, hit that like button, and subscribe. Until then, remember, you are the one who got away, and your journey is one of continual growth and triumph.